that he would have wanted. So just, just seeing what he was able to do, what does that mean for him, his trajectory, and things of that nature? Kind of. It, it was great. It was great to see. Um, super happy for him and the way that he was able to come out and perform. Uh, he's a big part of our offense. And uh, when he's going, you obviously see that a lot of good things happen. And so uh, I thought we did a great job of getting him involved, um, you know, getting him a good amount of targets, and he was able to capitalize. So it's just a mismatch out there, and, you know, it just helps out this offense tremendously, you know, when he's playing like that. Having Zay back, too, you know, how much does that boost the offense? It's great. I mean, just his morale, his presence out there, you know, within the huddle, on the sideline. Um, you know, he's a seven-year vet. You know, those are things that um, almost are a dime or a dozen because uh, just what he means to this team, his leadership, and, uh, you know, getting him back out there running, it's just great. And we all were uh, super happy to, to have him back out there. You hear a lot of times about how teams send messages, but it's more, it's, was this more of a message to yourselves that when you guys can get in sync and, the, and Trevor can have time, that this offense is, is capable of doing some special things? I wouldn't necessarily say it's a message. I would just say that it's just reinforcement. Um, I talked a little bit about it earlier this week, and that was my message. It's just don't lose confidence. I mean, you're the same player and team and offense that you were. You know, that was on a five-game win streak. And, yeah, you know, we had a, a, a terrible performance last Sunday, but, you know, that's the NFL. It's time to move on. And I also said, you know, as long as it doesn't, uh, keep multiplying and happen again. You know, you keep moving on and, you know, become the team that you want. So it was just, you know, more reinforcement of who we actually are. Was this the most uh, you guys have been in rhythm offensively in, in quite a while? I think so. You know, I thought we did a good job of staying in front of the chains, um, eliminating, you know, penalties, eliminating the turnover. Um, you know, margin. We were able to, you know, get some on defense and special teams, so that helps. And, you know, we were able to capitalize in the red zone. So I thought, you know, we did a good job of, you know, just kind of putting all phases together. How magnified is this one coming up in Houston with everything that it looks like in the stands? Um, I, I think, you know, as magnified as it gets, uh, you know, there's a lot on the line, and that's a great team that we're about to go play. And uh, we all remember what happened when we played them earlier in the year. Uh, so we have to come, you know, ready to work tomorrow, um, you know, be able to flush this tape and move on to the next opponent. And, uh, you know, they're going to be ready to play too. So, you know, we just got to ready to, uh, you know, match their energy and go down and execute. Christian, could you tell Trevor is not able to roll out, you know, like he had been the last yeah, you know, using his legs is a big part of what he does. And, uh, you know, you saw that on his two touchdowns that he was able to run in today, too. And I think a lot of it's, you know, evading and be able to get out of the pocket and throw the ball away. Uh, I think that's a big thing instead of, you know, having to take a sack just because you're not as mobile. So it's good to see him, you know, moving around. I think, you know, obviously he's more confident in that knee and, you know, he'll be able to progress and keep on getting better.